So I just used AI to create this concept for a Nike commercial. It's actually scary how realistic these videos are getting. So I use AI to generate the scenes and create the character in my commercial. Then I use AI to animate these scenes and turn them into videos. But I'm gonna walk you through the full process of how to create a commercial using AI. All right, so first things first, when you think of a commercial, a movie, or a video, from a director's point of view, the first thing that should come to your mind are the scenes. So I created this prompt that's gonna help me generate the scenes and it's specifically tailored towards Nike. Now this is a very detailed prompt, but there's a reason for that. We wanna be as specific as possible when it comes to creating the scenes for the brand that we're gonna create a commercial for. We have to consider the things such as the brand identity, the lighting, the aesthetic, the camera motion. What tone are we trying to portray about this brand? Who are the characters in our scenes? How are they gonna be posing? How do the scenes actually look? So we have to take all these different things into consideration when we're creating our prompt before we actually generate the images for our scenes. So another thing to take into consideration is we want character consistency when it comes to the different scenes that involve this character. So when describing the character, we have to specify that this character is going to be used in different scenes. So each scene that involves that character must stand on its own. So we need to use the same descriptive context when recreating that character for different scenes. So this is a prompt that I created. I think it's worth reading so you understand how specific you need to be when it comes to creating your commercial. So it goes, you are a creative video director and producer. Your goal is to create a cinematic masterpiece for a Nike running commercial with a runtime of approximately 30 seconds. The overall mood should be inspirational, aspirational, and rooted in determination, evoking emotion through powerful imagery and movement. The video will consist of dynamic, photorealistic scenes with immersive camera motion, lens control, and lighting. Each shot should feel intentional and cinematic using a combination of low angles, close-ups, and slow tracking shots, and shallow depth of field to keep the viewer visually engaged. Our central character must remain consistent across all scenes and maintain the same facial characteristics. She's a black female athlete with brown skin, athletic build, and braided hair tied back. She is styled the same throughout, wearing a black Nike Pro sleeveless performance top, black Nike Pro compression shorts, and white Nike running shoes with a bold black swoosh. This outfit and physical appearance must not change between the scenes, the scenes will be generated as individual images and later animated, so each one must stand on its own with full descriptive context. Only the pose, camera, angle, expression, environment, and mood should vary. Some scenes may not feature the athlete, but should still visually flow as a part of a cohesive story. All imagery must be photorealistic, 4K quality, and designed with cinematic lighting. Use warm gold tones or soft blue grays depending on the emotional beat of the scene. Colors should feel intentional and aesthetic with a balanced contrast between light and shadow. Every frame should feel like a steal from a high-end Nike campaign, bold, empowering, and deeply visual. All right, so now that we have that prompt, we're gonna come and paste it in ChatGPT. Then ChatGPT is going to help us create the prompts which generate our actual scenes. So now ChatGPT understands what we're looking for when it comes to generating the prompts for our scenes. I'm gonna tell it to give me the prompts for seven different scenes for our commercial. Okay, so these prompts are generated in bullet format, but we just want it in a clean way that we can copy and paste into Imagine 4. Okay, so now we have all our prompts for our scenes. All right, so now that we have all our scenes, all we're gonna do is take these prompts and copy them. Then we're gonna come to Google DeepMind. We're gonna hit try and whisk, and then we're gonna paste these prompts. So this is our first scene right here. All right, so just a little tip. If the scenes are not coming out how you want them to look, you can always just go back and regenerate the images again by just hitting this generate button again. So let's just say we didn't like these two images. We can just generate some more images. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this image and we're gonna download it. Then we're just gonna do this for the rest of our scenes. Scene two is going to be the push, paste it, and generate our images. Hit download. So now we're just gonna do that for all the rest of these scenes. All right, so we wouldn't go with this image right here because she has a Nike tattoo on her leg. I'm not sure why Imagine 4 did that, but we can go with this one right here. Okay, now we have all the image generated for our scene. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to tell ChatGPT to give me the prompts to animate these images. All right, so now we have all these prompts to animate the scenes that we just created. I'm just going to make a slight update and I'm going to say remove the brackets. 
Okay, so before we animate our scenes, we want to do one last thing, which is upscale the images. So I'm going to use this tool called I Love IMG. And the reason why we want to upscale the images is because we want to make them look as realistic and high quality as possible. So upscaling them is going to do that for us. So all I'm going to do is drag and drop all these images. So all I'm doing is dragging and then dropping all these images here so they can get upscaled. I like to use a 4x size multiplier and I'm going to show you the difference. This is without the image upscaled and then this is with the image upscaled. So it just looks more clear and less pixelated. All right, so you might not be able to drop every single file in on one try. So in this case, it's letting me know I can do three at a time. So I'm just going to hit upscale and it's going to create a zip file with those upscaled images for me. All right, so the AI video model we're going to be using to actually animate these images is called C Dance One Pro. Now, I'm on a website called Replicate, and what it does is it gives you access to a bunch of different AI models so you don't have to keep switching between different websites and you just pay as you use them. So C Dance One Pro is one of the best AI video generators out there. And it's one of the cheapest video generators when you compare it to other models such as VO3 or Kling 2.1. Okay, so to generate a 1080p video, it costs 15 seconds per every second of output video. And all of our scenes are gonna be about five seconds long. Therefore, it costs about 75 cents for every video we need to generate for each scene. And we have seven scenes, therefore it's gonna cost about $5.25 total to generate the seven scenes. Now, sometimes our videos aren't gonna come out how we wanted them to, so we may need to regenerate these videos, so it may cost us a little bit more. But when you think about it in the grand scheme of things, it's super cheap to generate a high quality video. Okay, so now all we need to do is enter in our prompt for each scene and then upload the upscale images. For video duration, we're gonna select five seconds. For resolution, we're gonna keep it at 1080p. The FPS, we're gonna keep it at 24. And then after that, we would just hit run. So now our video is done and this is what we have. So if the video looks good, we're just gonna hit download. Now we just need to move on to the next scene. Scene two is gonna be the push. So we're gonna take that prompt, we're gonna copy and paste it here. Then we're gonna upload the upscaled image for scene two. So we're gonna keep all the settings the same as before. So one of the cool things about C Dance is it only takes about a minute or two to generate these videos, as opposed to if you're using a tool like Kling AI, it may take five to 10 minutes to generate your video. So this works very fast and it gives you a great output. All right, so now our second video is done and this is how it looks for scene two. All right, so this looks good. So we're gonna hit download. Now we're just gonna do that for the remaining five scenes that we have left over. Same thing. Copy and paste the prompt, upload the upscaled image, download the video if it comes out right. So after all our videos are downloaded, we're gonna come to CapCut to make some further edits. We're gonna cut down the time of some of these scenes, add some background music, and also add some narration so we can give it a real commercial feel. All right, so now we wanna add some background music. So we can use AI to do this, but in my opinion, using real music just gives it more of a professional commercial vibe. So I'm using this website called artlist.io, and I believe it's $9.99 a month if you wanna be able to download their music and use it for your commercial projects. But I just come to music, and I'm just gonna look for cinematic music. All right, so I think I'm gonna go with this song right here. So you want the scenes to flow with the transition of the music. So you want to cut them down to match whatever the music is doing. Okay, so the last thing we want to do is come back into ChatGPT and tell it to give us a narration script so somebody can narrate our commercial. Okay, so now we have our narration script. So now we can go to Eleven Labs and use AI to actually have somebody read off our prompt. So Eleven Labs has different voices you can choose from that are already made and customized, or you can make your own voice. So I created my own voice and I just used ChatGPT to help me create what my narrator's voice should sound like. So I wanted to use a man in his 60s with a deep, rich voice. So now I can use that voice if I come here to text-to-speech. So now that I pasted my script, I can come here and I can hit generate speech. Okay, so now we can listen to what our narrator sounds like reading off our script. In the stillness, she finds her focus. 
With every stride, she breaks limits. Okay, so now we can come and we can download that generation. Now we're going to come back to CapCut and we're going to upload it. And like I said before, you'll want to go through and make edits so the scenes match the music. Also, you want to cut down some of the pauses in the narrator's voice so it flows well and it sounds natural and human. So I already did this before with the commercial I first showed on the screen at the beginning of this video. So this is how everything should look when you're finished editing. The scenes aren't five seconds long anymore. They should be a little bit shorter and the narrator's voice should sound natural. I'm going to put the final version of this video on screen. Y'all let me know what you think. Some days, it's just you and the road. No crowds, no cameras, just grit, breath, and the next step forward. Because greatness isn't given, it's earned. In the early mornings, in the pouring rain, in the moments no one sees, you don't chase the spotlight, you chase your purpose. Alright y'all, so that's it for today's video on how to make a commercial using AI. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to drop a comment below or share this video with a friend. So stay tuned for the next one.